As you can see with the image on the screen, this guy's got some serious red going on in his eyes. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So this isn't that red eye in the middle from a flash. This is the red kind of bloodshot eye removal. I want to say thanks to this girl who uh, is the one who posted this onto Flickr, which is where I downloaded it from. Okay, first thing you want to do pretty much any time you're working on a picture is duplicate the layer. Do that by hitting Control J. Once you've duplicated the layer, zoom way in to the eye. And this is helpful because you're going to want to kind of remove any distractions from the outside of it. Next up, what you want to do is add a selective color layer. And in the property panel for the selective color, start with your reds. Now with the reds, you've got your cyan. And what you're looking for is just that white area of the eye. So slide your cyan to the right. And notice what it's doing is it's dropping the color for the whole image. That's great. That's what we want. So go, I'd say go pretty far to the right with your cyan. Next up with the magenta. Uh, magenta, you can kind of play with it, go left and right. I'd say a little bit to the left with the right with the magenta. Yellows, you'll probably want to go a little bit to the left as well. And same with the blacks, just a little to the left. But it's just kind of uh, your eyeballing it, pun intended there, of just trying to get it to be a little less noticeable. Then from your colors drop down, switch to your yellows, and you're going to repeat that process. Bring your cyan, not too much of a difference there with the yellows, but a little bit, cyan to the right, and everything else just a bit to the left. And it's kind of helpful if you do it extreme one way or the other, and that'll help you kind of dial it in there. And no real changes with the blacks. You can mess with some of the other ones. I found like they don't really seem to do a whole lot. White sometimes I think goes a little bit. Uh, but if you notice, if you go to cyans, you're not going to really get any changes. Same thing with greens and stuff because there's those colors aren't really here. Now we still got a bit of red. This girl has some seriously red eyes, so we might have to do this more than once. But once you get it reasonably dialed in, you can take a look. Just I'm going to, under the layer, notice how red those eyes are. A lot better already. Okay, next thing what we want to do is we're going to fix the skin. So with that layer selected, make sure you're clicking on the layer mask and hit Control-I on your keyboard or Command-I if you're on a Mac. And now we've switched everything back. So what you want to do is go to your brush tool and make sure your selected color is white and then you can I like to use opacity um, but for this let's switch and we'll go flow and let's drop that flow down to say 50% and then you just kind of start painting on to that white in the eyes Yeah, it's much more noticeable here on the left and you kind of want to get around the edges you don't want to do too much into the the corners because that is naturally very red on people but you can see now we're really getting rid of a lot of that red that we don't want right on the edge down here looking much better zoom out a little bit and let's take a look so this is before look how red those eyes are and this is after a lot better now you can of course do this more than once and on this person I probably would do that I just kind of repeat that process but that's pretty much how it works now let's say you want to get rid of some veins so I've got another image here and I'm gonna zoom in on him And you can see we've got this really kind of thick vein on his eye. And I'm going to want to get rid of that. So I did all the rest of the process that I just mentioned in the previous image with the um, color adjustments. But I want to get rid of that vein that he has there. On my keyboard, I'm going to go Alt-Shift and then Merge Visible. 
And you notice what it did here is it basically created a copy of all of the layers merged underneath it, but that way I still have all those previous layers if I want them. Next up, go to your clone stamp tool. And I think clone stamp works the best for this because you get that texture. And let's drop our flow to 50 on this one as well. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's just real subtly alt stamping away that vein. If you want, you can use a brush tool as well with just a uh, flow down to like 50, maybe even 30. Grab the collar and paint over it a little bit. And that way you can kind of get into there. But you see what happens is it starts to, you, there's no texture. And that's why I think the clone stamp tool works. You can also select the spot healing tool as well and do a little bit. But once again, it's kind of pulling in what's around there. And so that is why I think the clone stamp tool is probably the best one for this. And what you can do, the advantage to creating that second layer is if you want you can drop the opacity on the layer a little bit so you can bring back a little bit of that vein so it still helps kind of look look nice and natural but it doesn't stand out quite like it did before just kind of paint around in there so that's pretty much it so hopefully you found that useful and have a good day